Hi, my name is Nurin Afifa Binti Mohamad here. My metric number is 201015. My course is Bachelor Science Environmental and Occupational Health. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Izzah Irdina Binti Husni. My matrix number is 202903. Hi, my name is Nur Adiba Binti Abdul Dapa and my matrix number is 202944. Hi. My name is Jacinta Jonis and my metric number is 201292. Hi, my name is Sarah Anna Binti Sazali and my metric number is 200738. Based on some readings, mechanical plant and media is a pre-treatment of incoming wastewater to prepare it for biological treatment. It is said that at this stage, coarse insoluble impurities are removed. Mineral pollutes are removed up to 70% and BOD, biochemical oxygen demand, is reduced by 30%. This system utilizes a combination of physical, biological and chemical processes to achieve the treatment objective. These mechanical treatment technologies use a series of tanks along with pumps, blowers, grinders, screens and other mechanical components to treat the wastewater. The history of water supply and sanitation is one of a challenge to provide clean water and sanitation systems since the dawn of civilization. Where water resources or sanitation systems were insufficient, diseases spread and people fell sick or died. The focus of sewage treatment was on the channeling of raw sewage to a natural body of water such as river or ocean where it would be diluted and dissipated. It used to be said that the solution to pollution is dilution but densely populated communities produce large amount of sewage. However, that dilution alone does not help to prevent pollution. This makes it necessary to treat wastewater before disposal. The construction of centralized sewage treatment plants began in late 19th and early 20th centuries, mainly in United Kingdom and United States. Instead of discharging sewage directly into nearby water, it was first passed through a combination of physical, biological, and chemical processes to remove some or most of the pollutants. Wastewater treatment plants become large and complex facilities that require a lot of energy to operate. After the rise of oil prices, energy conservation becomes more important factor in the design of new pollution control system. As a result, landfills and sewage disposal below the ground surface are beginning to receive greater attention. Such low technology pollution control methods not only might help to conserve energy but also might help to recycle nutrients and replenish groundwater supply. Next, we move on to the next part which is how do wastewater treatment plants work. There are two basic stages in the treatment of waste which is primary and secondary treatment. In the primary stage, solids are allowed to settle and remove from the wastewater. The secondary stage uses biologically processes to purify the wastewater. Um, as the sewage enters plants for treatment, um, it flows through a screen. This screening removes large objects such as rag, bottles or plastic that might close the pipe or the equipment. After sewage has been um, screened, it passes into a grid chamber where chinders, sand and small stones settles to the bottom. After the um, screening is completed and the grid has been removed, um, sewage still contain organic and inorganic matter along with other suspended solid. This solid can be removed from the sewage in a sedimentation tank. When the speed of the flow through one of these tanks is 
reduce, the suspended solid will gradually sink to the bottom where they form a mass of a solid called the raw primary biosolid formerly sludge. From a trickling filter, the partially treated sewage um, flows to another sedimentation tank where it removes the excess bacteria. Um, after the sewage leaves a settling tank in the primary um, stage, it is pumped into an aeration tank where it is mixed with air and sludge loaded with bacteria and allows to remain there for several hours. To complete the secondary treatment, the effluence from the sedimentation tank is usually disinfected by uh, using chlorine before it is discharged into receiving water. That is how the wastewater treatment plants work. Mechanical systems are more suitable for places where land availability is a concern, such as hotels and residential areas. Mechanical plants are the least land-intensive of wastewater treatment methods based on natural processes. So what are the disadvantages of this mechanical system? Firstly, it can be costly to build and operate as they require specialized personnel. Nevertheless, they do offer a more controlled environment which produce a more consistent quality of effluent. The mechanical treatment plant cost was derived as the cost of an oxidation ditch treatment system and includes the cost of a clarifier, oxidation ditch, pumps, building, laboratory and also the slight drying beds. These costs also include the cost of engineering and construction management in addition to the cost for piping, electrical system, instrumentation and also site preparation. In the conclusion, mechanical plant with media is one of a great way to treat wastewater, to restore water supply and provide only good quality water for consumers. The reuse of treated wastewater has become a viable option to minimizing water scarcity problems. The world has a growing and developing population and as things stand right now, we are on a downward slope in terms of water conservation. Having said this, with some smart thinking, wastewater treatment and some generous open-mindedness, we can turn this around and make much needed changes all around the globe. On that note, let us all save water to ensure water sustainability in the future. That is all from us. Thank you for your attention.